Yeah. Well, you know, I should go and find Vicky. Oh, you know what, Charlie? Just oh. wait, because mm. I, um, I want to thank you for making me aware that my fondness for a cocktail or four has gotten a little out of hand, and I appreciate your honesty. I guess I just got in the habit of making myself feel better with a drink. Well, you're not the first. Mm. No, I know that. Yeah. And your offer to help me? I, mm. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to well, get these oh, ornaments to the tree. Sweetheart, let me get that for you. Come on. Here. Charlie, where have you been? At the hospital. What? Yeah. Rex was in a car accident. Rex? Yeah, no, yeah, he ran off the road. He was knocked unconscious. He was stuck in the car all night long. Who knows what could have happened? You know, if that thing had caught on fire. Oh, my God. Jeez. <laughs> but he was lucky, and uh, he's just banged up a little bit. He's going to be fine. That's just awful. Yeah. And how awful for you. Yeah, I, well, I couldn't stop thinking about Jared and how he seemed okay at first, and then... But, darling, why didn't you call me? Well... I called Echo, and she said that she was here, and that I told her to tell you. You know what? I'm just going to run upstairs and grab something. Yeah, I know. And then I got the hectic at the hospital. First, you kissed my husband, and then you lied to me. First, you've got to know. I was standing right there when you got that phone call, and I specifically asked you, what's wrong? You said nothing about Rex being in the hospital. Vicky, I had just found out that my only child was in the hospital, and I had no idea how bad it was. I wasn't thinking, okay? I'm sorry. Look, Vicky, I should have called you. She made it sound as if you were inviting her to a motel. What? A motel? Yes, or an affair. No, Charlie, I swear, I never said any such thing. I grabbed my bag, and I ran out of here. Oh, no, your exact words to me me were, Charlie needs me. Okay, okay, okay. The, we, you know what? We had a miscommunication, my fault. And hey, all's well that ends well. No, it is not all well, Charlie. I'm sorry, it's not. The mother of your son here is drinking for breakfast, and it wasn't just orange juice. We have a child living in this house. We have two more on the way. Your drink has it gotten out of control. Charlie already knows that. And I'm going to help her get sober. Inez and I... You are going to help her get sober? Yes. Charlie caught me having a drink at the hospital, and he made me see that it was becoming a problem. And from what I understand... That's the first step. Admitting that you're powerless. Right. That's me. Well, that's good. That's good. So, I assume you're going to check yourself into rehab for a couple of months, right? Oh, no, I can't afford that. No, uh, and besides, that rehab would take me away from my son and his family. No, 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 no. Your rehab would take you away from chuckles. You know what? You're probably right. I, I shouldn't call you that anymore. You know, I called you that when we were drinking, and Charlie's so much nicer. You know, he's going to take me to one of his home meetings. Would you excuse us now? Oh, yeah, I just, I'm going to just go. Oh. She has a problem. Oh, no, 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 Charlie. She has a lot of problems. Look, she is the mother of my son. Please, I know that. <laughs> she has already admitted that she wants you. She threw herself at you. Yeah, when she was drunk. Right, and when that didn't work, she figured she'd try it sober. Darling, she's doing every single thing she can to get close to you. I know that, Vicky. <laughs> she's a drunk. Oh. She's family. <sighs> And I have got to help her. You know that she's manipulating you. Well, she's trying, but it's not going to work. Why would you subject 
Hold yourself to that. She's a drunk. That's what drunks do. They lie and they deceive and they manipulate. They will do anything they can to get what they want, whether that's a next drink or the guy in the next bar stool. Look, Vicky, that's how AA works. Okay? We've got to give it away. That's how we stay sober, by helping out the next guy. Even when the next guy wants an awful lot more from you than just help. I'm going to take her to a meeting. I'm going to get her started and help her find a sponsor. Why does it have to be your home meeting? There are meetings all over this town, John. Because then I can keep an eye on her. Oh, okay. wonderful. And then she can share her way even deeper into your life. She's going to know more about you than I know. She already does. Vicki, we're both drunks. No. No, you are much, much more than that. Thank you. But is it my hope to get her? her sober too, so that she will be a good mother to Rex, a terrific grandma to Shane. And that is all that I am trying to do here. I'm not looking for anything more than that. I'm losing you. No. Yes, I am losing you. She's in our home. She's in our lives. She's in our family. Now she's in your program. What about me? Charlie, how do I make sure that you and I stay close? You trust me. Okay. Just tell her I'm in the car. <laughs> oh, no, I've got to come. Where's Charlie? Charlie's waiting for you in the car. Oh, okay. You and I are going to have a little talk. You know what, Vicki? I know you don't like this, but I am an alcoholic. Oh, you're right. I don't like this. And let me tell you something. If you use your drinking to get between my husband and me, you are going to need a hell of a lot more than a serenity prayer to help you.